Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We are doing another personal box, this time for Chris Notzen. A personal box of Heritage Baseball 2019. Heritage Baseball. I grabbed a random box, and it's going to be box two. Got a box hopper here. One original 1970 card inside. Let's see what we get there. All right. Chris, good luck. What are we watching here on the MLB Network? I see Dodgers 4, or A's 4, Dodgers 3 at the bottom of the 8th. World Series. Game 1. What happened in that game? I wonder. There's a Brent Suter, Bruce Suter, Brent Suter. The uh, different border is a some sort of parallel, I'm pretty sure, some sort of variation. Jason Bell saying, I wish Tops would come back to NFL football. And get the license? Well, I was at the, I've got some news for you on that, Jason Bell. We were at the Tops Industry Conference in, in Phoenix, Arizona last weekend. And remember that, remember the team of Tops people that we pulled in that other, in, in Rick Barker's personal box, the guy on the left? I think he's like the head of sales or like the head of, hobby sales or something like that. I forget what his title is, but he's big wig. Um, I straight up asked him. I said, one of the most frequent questions we get, Kevin, Mr. O'Neill, is football. When are you guys going to get football back? And he kind of laughed and it was like, we'd love to get football back. We'd love to get the NFL back. But there's George Springer. That's your hit out of the box here, Chris. Um, and he was just like, that, 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 that contract's locked up for another three to five years. So... I won't even be in the discussion until then. So, it's not like they don't want it. They definitely want it back. But we might be waiting a while. So there, there's the news. Um, I'm skipping the high number uh, short prints, the ones that are base short prints, 401 and up. Just in the interest of time, we want to do that contenders break. But obviously, all these things will be shipping to you. I want to see if we can find anything shorter printed than those base short prints. I don't see anything off the bat, but Chris, be sure to double check when you get these. Some of them you can kind of spot right off the bat, but some of them are a little bit more, more challenging. All right, next one. But Tops, uh, Tops is doing a great job with their baseball license. They just signed an, uh, they just extended their exclusive with with baseball, Major League Baseball for through twenty twenty five, I think. So I guess you won't be seeing any logos on Panini stuff till then. They got the Star Wars license. 
that's going to be a pretty big deal for them this year, especially with a new movie coming out at the end of the year. Oh, let's go through this pack first. They're, they're, they're doing very well with WWE and UFC. So they're doing great with that. And some other properties. They got some good soccer properties as well. They got uh, Champions League soccer. They've got English Premier League soccer. So they're doing well, but you know, they they would if they get the opportunity, I'm sure they would love to get to get back into uh, get back into the NFL. Yeah, I'd like to see I'd like to see uh, upper deck flex their muscles a little bit. You know, kind of get outside of uh, get outside of hockey and, and get into some more hoops. I mean, they got exclusives for Jordan. Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and uh, and Ben Simmons, so that they have the rights to their their ink basically. So why not why not leverage that? You know, wrestle away some of that basketball license away from Panini. Three thirty four out of nine ninety nine on that one. You know, and and get back into that game, but they're crushing it with with. With hockey, though. Another bit of interesting news um, from the Tops Industry Conference was that Topps seems to be um, very interested in, well, more interested, instead of creating new products, is to just make their existing brands just better. Which I think is, I, which I think is an interesting way to go. Instead of trying to create like, instead of trying to create new product product lines, you know what I mean? I, th I think they really want, they're really committed to being like, hey, let's just, Let's not worry about making too many different new products. Let's make high tech better. Let's make Heritage better. Let's make Topps Chrome better. Let's make Bowman better. You know, let's make Definitive Diamond Icon, which are relatively new on the newer side. But let's make those better. Let's make Triple Threads better. So I think I think they're definitely kind of committed to doing that. They're dropping Bowman High Tech this year, and they're adding Bowman Sterling this year, which I think they've kind of reconfigured. But they're they're adding that this year. Yeah, well, you know what? It looks like Jordan Bell saying Upper Deck is the exclusive NHL deal, and they kill it. Uh, it really seems like I know I know people are lamenting. You know, they're like, oh, I wish the, all the all the all these guys didn't have all these exclusives. I totally agree. I wish there was a little more variety in some of the sports, but it seems like. If they if each major manufacturer is able to focus on one thing, we get better of that one thing, right? Instead of like not as good, you know, because when their design and and market intention is sort of all over the place, they're able to kind of focus more. You know, Tops is able to focus more and work more closely with MLB and put in their entire attention there. You know, instead of maybe having to jump around with a, a bunch of different licenses or major sports licenses. I guess we'll save one of these Otanis, even though that's not his rookie year. Ooh, one, two, four. What is this? Oh, I think they actually even write in the parallels there, too. There it is. Action image. It's like one, one out of every couple thousand packs or something like that. Out of 124. Chris, be sure to check the other ones too. I, I know I'm kind of rushing through this. So I, I may have missed some of them, but... 
trying to keep an eye on it. How do they do what, Rick? Rick likes the treasure hunting aspect of this. Are you asking how they actually, like literally how do they produce all the, the set? Oh, make the existing product better. I think they can just, they can focus on, on design elements, you know, be able to focus on better design elements, come up with better insert ideas, come up with better parallel ideas. Um, they can look back and they, they, they say they look, they, they, they come and watch our show all the time, Tops. They're always watching. They're not always chatting, but they're always watching. They're always looking at Instagram feedback, all the big hits, Twitter feedback. They read everything. They're on message boards all over the place. So they see all the feedback, you know, and they, they try to see, and even the secondary market too. So they look at that secondary market, they look at all those places, and um, they'll be like, okay, this parallel seems to be working pretty well, this parallel isn't. You know, so. Yeah, so there you go, Chris. Let's see what your box topper is. Not too bad, I wish there was like an auto in here, but. The Springer Relic is pretty solid. You got that Action Parallel and you got Old Met, Don Clen Clendenon. Some of you old school guys may remember Old Don. Played most of his career with the, uh, with the Pirates. All right, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. 2019, a nice box. Thanks to, uh, thanks to Chris for letting us see his personal box from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We are, remember last year was 1969. We are now in, 19, in the 1970s. So we're marching into the 70s. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next box. Bye-bye.